Hello friends, so welcome again to yet another session on real numbers. Uh, today we are going to start a new topic and uh, the topic name is uh, Euclid's, Euclid's division, Euclid's division algorithm. So we will get into the deeper details of Euclid's division algorithm in some while but before that I have a problem uh, to solve here for all of you and uh, this is a problem statement. The problem statement is I have uh, two strings, one of let's say I name it string A and another string B. One string is of 42 units long length and another string is of 30 units length. Okay. Now the question is I have to cut it into parts. Both the strings have to be cut into the part. So criteria number one, both the strings, both the strings, strings have to be cut, have to be cut into parts, into parts. Constraint is A, all the parts should be equal. All the parts should be of equal length, equal length, equal length. Second is all the parts should be of equal length and uh, second is the length, length of each, each of the parts should be should be as maximum as maximum as possible isn't it so what does it mean this means that both the strings have to be cut into parts so okay i can cut it into parts into let's say units of 5 6 and 10 and whatever and uh, the but the constraint in constraint is all the parts should be of equal length so after once the you know once i have cut both the strings when we look at the string lengths of each one of the sub strings which you will get all must be what of equal length first of all and second is the length of each of the parts should be as maximum as possible what does this mean so for for that matter if i have a 42 unit long string a and 30 units long string b you can say that okay cut it into uh, size of let's say one unit each so I'll get 42 units here, 42 such pieces uh, from string A and um, uh, 30 such pieces in string B. So what is what is that? What is that, uh, what does that mean? It means that if you let's say cut one one part, one one unit like that, one one each and then hence how many pieces will you get from here of one unit? 42 and here you will get 30. So that satisfies this criteria number A that all the parts should be of equal length. but can I, is, the, is this the only possible way? Can I not cut it into, you know, let's say units of two. So let me say, if I cut it into units of two, okay. Then also, if I cut it into units of two, I will get how many? I will get definitely here, how many? 21 such parts. And in this case, 15 such parts of this of unit two, two units, 15, two units part, isn't it? So this is also this also satisfies all parts should be of equal length. What is the length length of each of the parts? Two units each. So twenty one of two units each here, and fifteen of two units here. But again, the question doesn't you know the the process doesn't stop there. So can I not cut it into let's say sizes of three each? If I do that, then what happens? I will get how many uh, here? 14, 14 pieces of three units three units each and here I'll get 10, 10 such pieces of three units each, isn't it? So now the question is where do we stop? So hence what should be the maximum? Can I have uh, let's say uh, a, a side length of uh, 40 each? No, I can't have a segment of 40 units length. Why? Because if I cut a 40, uh, I, first of all, I can't cut the second uh, string into a length of a size of 40. I can cut only the first one. So that's not possible. So can I have, let's say 25 as a size length? No, I can't have that also. Why? Because if I cut it into 25, here's a, 
another string of or another uh, segment of 17 units will be left over which is again which violates the criteria number one itself so what do i do so uh, for you know so how do i do it so do do i keep on you know going for trial and error so in this case you can easily see that as i reach six the case is solved but then for larger pairs of numbers let's say i have 105 and 95 or maybe some bigger number is there then how do we do that for that this guy euclid is a famous uh, uh, greek mathematician of uh, he was around 300 bc uh, we have already learned that so this person this this man devised a method method and that's that method is called algorithm so any method of let's say step by step um, process of doing anything is called an algorithm so he devised an algorithm to solve this problem generally that means you have you may have some other numbers here let's say 50 and 30 or 60 and 105 or whatever so how to do that that's what he this guy device so what what did he do and this is the geometrical way of geometrical way of uh, uh, doing this we will also see analytical or algebraic way of doing it and hence he, this guy euclid is famous for his algorithm so he has mentioned this algorithm in his books called the elements and let's and let's understand what was the algorithm so he did this what did he do so what he did was he took let's say uh, what is a you know smaller one so this 30 length is smaller one so i can carve out a 30 from the bigger one and what will be left over so if you see this will be left over right so i'm just taking out the left over once i have cut it into two pieces so one 30 and another this one isn't it so this will be uh, my uh, first let's say uh, division so what i did i cut the bigger one and made it, uh, let's say, as many uh, units of uh, the smaller one I could carve out. So I could carve out only 30. And then I found out 42 here. Uh, sorry, uh, this is 12. So if you see. Yeah. So now the original 42 length and 30 length now are divided into three parts. One of 30, another of 30, and another, the leftover is 12. But it doesn't satisfy our criteria A. Which one? This one all the parts should be of equal length so r is 12 equal to 30 no that means i'll have to go for a further division so hence now what i'll do i will carve out i will try to you know cut the bigger uh, remaining strings into pieces of length 12 so let's see how okay so here is the two strings which i have now you know three strings basically so the 42 length uh, string was cut into 30 and 12 and the 30 was left as it is now I will cut both these longer strings into uh, Strings of length 12. So let me take out the first 12 from this string So I am taking this out and hence I am putting it here. Okay, so this is gone. So if you see This is 12 length. Can I take out one more 12 from here? Yes, I can. So because it is of 18 length. So here is how I take out one more and sorry. So this is this is how I do it. I take out one more and put it here. OK, now can I take 12 further from this? No, not possible. So let me do the same exercise here also. So I took out 12 from here and put it side by side. OK, and this becomes my 12 length can i take one more 12 yes i can so i took out one more 12 from here and put it here so now can i do anything further no i can't so hence i divided the original 42 into 12 12 12 12 12 and 6 and the 30 as 12 12 and 6 now does it satisfy the initial criteria the first one all the parts should be of equal length still not why because few are of 12 if you are of 6 then what do we do then again we'll repeat the process now what we'll do is we'll carve out six from strings of length six from all of these remaining how many are there one two three four five six seven so we have seven such you know strings of 12 uh, five of them are of 12 and two are of them six so this is the case now what do we do let me extract out six from each one of them so i can take out the six six so if you see, I am putting it here. Okay, so 
now this is a six okay very good now what what about this i can take out here also six let me put it here so this is also of six and then i can take out this six as well and put it here so this is of six also so if you see all are now six length now do the same exercise here and uh, this is six okay if you see this is six and then this also if you take out here yeah so this also is six so if you see we have now all the the, the entire the original 42 length string was cut into seven pieces of six each and the 30 length string was cut into five pieces of six each does it satisfy a yes all the parts should be of equal length yes we have got all the parts of equal length now here you cannot really have any other uh, um, you know size of the string which can divide the two strings in equal length so hence this is what is called the greatest common factor or greatest common divisor of two numbers 42 and 42 and uh, 30 so if you see 6 becomes the 6 is the greatest greatest is greatest is the thing which we are trying to find out um, as the you know uh, the second criteria b it has to be the greatest one and it is common 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 and third is divisor so euclid's division algorithm is used to find out greatest common divisor of greatest common divisor of two integers two positive integers two integers and positive is inherently uh, you know uh, mentioned here so uh, two integers and in this case the integers were 42 and 30 okay so we will look into uh, the deeper details of how gcd is found out using uh, euclid's division uh, algorithm because we can't draw images and uh, you know representative diagrams to find this out this was just to explain what it practically means how to, how do we segment let's say uh, two things into equal sizes two two objects into equal sizes such that the sizes are first of all uh, all are equal and second is they are maximum so I hope you understood the process. You can do it, uh, you know, uh, yourself. You can take a sheet of paper and make strips of, let's say, uh, some unit, uh, some integral size, and then try and find out the greatest common divisor using this algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.